Hi, my name is Dita Irvin, and today I would like to show you how to edit text widgets without knowing any HTML at all. Text widgets are typically shown on the sidebar, and sidebars usually take a lot of space on our websites. They are viewed by everyone who visits our blogs, and for that reason, our sidebars should be well put together, they should be informative and even interactive. Now, because normally text uh, cannot be edited within a, a widget, it takes a bit of maneuvering to set the text widget just right. And generally, it is done in the post area where the text is edited and then the content is copied over to the widget. Now, even this can sometimes cause a problem. Recently, I came across a free plugin that will eliminate the extra steps and that will allow you to do all the editing within the text widget itself. And today I will show you that plugin and how it works. So I am in the dashboard of my test blog and we're going to click on plugins. And we're going to add a new. And we're going to search for a plugin. We'll call it Black. Click on Search Plugins. And the first one that shows up is called Black Studio Tiny MCE Widget. And we'll install it now. Yes, we're sure. And we will activate the plugin. And now let's go to the widget area. And in the widget area, you will see the Black Studio Tiny MCE. So what I'd like to do is I would like to set up a regular text uh, widget and compare it then with the Black Studio Tiny MCE. So let's drag a new text widget into the uh, sidebar. And we're going to label this uh, title, uh, th this uh, text widget, and we're going to add some content. So I added the title, Three Steps to Weight Loss Success, and I added some information, including a link to an advertisement. So now we'll save this uh, text widget. And we'll close it. And then we will add the Black Studio Tiny MCE right underneath that text widget. And we'll input the same information into this box area. So again, we have three steps to weight loss success and we have the same information here. But over here, we're able to edit this information. So first of all, let's uh, make this a bullet uh, point and we'll just click on this and here we'll just cut out this uh, link to our advertisement and instead we'll link this click here to that link to make it clickable. So we'll just link here and we'll add the information open a new window and now we have a clickable link. So let's make it a little bit more uh, pretty. So we'll just bold it and actually we'll bold this as well. And now we will save it and we'll compare the two widgets. So let's go and visit our site. And there you have the two different styles of text. The first one is the default text widget that is available in WordPress. And here is the TinyMCE widget. And this clicks into our um, advertisement. As you can see, that this is a definitely more clickable widget than this one is. So back in the widget area, I decided to also show you how to add a um, 
an image to your editor here. And it is no different than adding an image in your post editor. So let's click on Add Media. I'll select this image here and um, I'll insert it in the post. Sorry, you didn't see that on my screen, but it's just like the uh, media edition in your post. And also, I would like to make this a clickable link. And so what we'll do is we'll use the same uh, link that we used before. We'll open it in a new window. So now our ad is clickable. And also what I'd like to do is I would like to insert some information underneath the ad. So we'll center this information and we'll make it bold and we'll also change the color. So I'll just put this green here and now I will need to put the title over here and we'll use the same title as before. And let's save it and let's look at the site. And here you have your new ad. So you can see that we were able to link it to our advertisement. And we were also able to input new information here and we were able to make it bold and green. I moved the uh, ad over underneath the other ad, so just for comparison, and you can see they are quite pretty. The least desirable ad, of course, is this one, the text ad where we could, were not able to edit any information. So as you can see, editing um, text widgets with this uh, Block Studio Tiny MCE plugin is really simple. And uh, you can make beautiful widgets with it. So make sure to subscribe to my channel for more how-to videos. And with this, I'll end this presentation and I'll see you later.